And we're gonna head over to Justine and Katie now who have a little bit of an update on the social side. What's going on, girls? DK, thank you so much. We know who we think is trending so far at E3, but what do you think? Let's have a look at how the big three are doing on the social board. As you can see, Sony catching up to Microsoft. As that presser started, over 16,000 tweets coming in on the Sony side. Yeah, and also Nintendo, you know, in third, but their press conference is tomorrow, so we'll see what happens with that. All right, well, Sony has just the pulled ahead on our SMT leaderboard. Uh, earlier today, Microsoft was ahead, obviously, because of what they had done uh, with their press conference. But now Sony has pulled ahead with all those big announcements, including God of War, which you just saw, uh, and beyond, the big announcement from David Cage, awesome. a new game starring Ellen Page, and uh, there's lots more, I think, coming from Sony, even in this show. So don't Fantastic. go anywhere. Justina, what is the sentiment? What are people saying? Jeff, Nintendo is absolutely going crazy right now. But specifically, let's check out our big three. So right here, Nintendo is over 83,000. Yep. That's more than triple from when we first started. Sony comes in second. look at our leaderboard right now and see that Sony is gaining momentum on all their big games and we've actually been tracking uh, all day the trends the social discussion around all these different companies in terms of online sentiment this is our e3 leaderboard as you can see Nintendo uh, Eclipse Sony and Microsoft in terms of online social buzz uh, you guys just shot right up there uh, you, you make it seem like it's a surprise <laughs> well you never know how people are gonna do what announcements people are going to have uh, this event is too huge to be contained in one location and we will bring it all to you Right now, everyone is gathering at the Galen Center for the Microsoft presentation. Now let's check in on what some of the industry insiders are saying. That's right, there are s there's so much buzz going on this, e this E3 as usual. And Andy Mack over from uh, Game Informer says, great moments in E3 history, space ponchos at the Kinect launch. There's a lot of people excited about Borderlands and a lot of people with questions for you as well. Justine, I understand you have some questions for uh, Randy from the interwebs. That oh, we uh, do. So thank you, Daniel. Let's find out what people want to know on Twitter. A lot of people are talking about how they really love the customizable weapons in Borderlands yeah. 1. So we've got a tweet here from Walnut the Wise who <laughs> dreams of driving a pink buggy across alien planets <laughs> who will there be customizable vehicles you know in Borderlands 2 uh, getting around the world of Pandora in Borderlands 1 is a lot of fun but when you have a vehicle it's a lot more fun all right if you're a fan of GameTrailers.com you're well aware we do a series called pop block where we take an in-depth look at trailers and gameplay from the site right now we're gonna dig into this amazing Star Wars 1313 so footage amazing and do a little telestrating as appropriate. So awesome, my mind is still blown. <laughs> and if it's blown, this is not your Star Wars Lego, mind you. Yes. Amazing attention to detail. Right off the top, I'm actually gonna stop down and showcase something you probably didn't see. A little R2-D2 action. Right there. And he's a little dark, if you notice what I'm saying. Yes. These graphics are still so mind-blowing. I think people are still recovering from what they just experienced, but uh, here we go, we're taking a stroll out. The graphic detail is absolute, the lighting effects, and boom! What do we have there, Katie? Again, action never stopping, and I want you to notice something right here. Gonna pop down, gonna be a little telestrator action. Notice this droid that comes out of nowhere. This is gonna be a pivotal character. He's picking up the case and he's walking away. You know he's gonna come back into action. Yeah, right away you can see that the gameplay style is different than what we're used to from a Star Wars game like Force Unleashed. This is a, a more uncharted feel, a third-person action game. You can see, you know, how the action picks up right away. You can see the influences here, but it's and intense. much more mature. I want you to see what happens right here. He's actually gonna snap his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Again, talk, playing to that more mature audience, a little different type of gameplay. And even with the sparks coming down, I know this is really nerdy. Yeah, let's pause, look at that. Pay what? attention because as this trap, this hatch actually opens, those sparks, they're going to fly right out the window. Right, so the particle effects in the game, you see them going out the window now that that hatch is open, which is just absolutely amazing to expect, like they said, that this is going to persist throughout the entire experience with Star Wars 13. Uh, 13. So this is absolutely amazing. Excellent job.